As you know, we get a lot of, of birds come in here every year. Every bird that comes in has its own special story. So, nine o'clock on the Sunday morning, they were there. And there was this bird in a box, a cardboard box, on the floor. The box was so full of dirt that Anne thought the bird was actually on the dirt with just four pieces of cardboard around it. But no, the bird was in there. The bird could barely move and looked terrible. The sun was beating down on this macaw. There's no food, there's no water. And Anne phoned me and she said, what are we going to do? She said, I've hammered on the door, I've called, I can get no response. I said, call the police, call the RCMP, which she did. And Anne said, we want to take this bird because the bird is severely injured and very ill and we need to take it to the refuge. So she picked it up, picked up this poor macaw, put it on her lap, gave it some water. It was desperately thirsty. It was a very, very hot day. And they drove the, the bird right here. We put the bird on oxygen to start with. It was in really rough shape and having a difficult time breathing. Anyway, when, when everything calmed down, took the bird out of the oxygen chamber and uh, I gave him fluids under the skin because he was extremely dehydrated. And we gave him vitamin shots because he was in very poor shape. And I gave him food directly into his crop because he was extremely, extremely thin. And I have to say, within a couple of hours, he perked up phenomenally. It was unbelievable, the difference. And I said to Anne, what is his name? And she said, I asked the man, and he doesn't have a name. He's just a breeder bird. Anne said, look at his face, look at his eyes. He doesn't want to die. She said, let's call him Spirit. So Spirit became part of the, of the refuge at that point. We took Spirit the next day to the vets and for a thorough examination. The vet was a pair. The bird is extremely underweight, has at least two different bacterial infections happening and a fungal infection in its mouth. It was just in dreadful shape. The feet were worn and had to be sutured in one place just from dragging itself around. The spine has a big bump where the spine is broken. You could feel the hip, you could feel a break in the hip, but you couldn't of course see it. So we had to wait a little bit longer till the bird was in good enough condition you know, to undergo getting x-rayed. And so this was done a couple of days later. And sure enough, the spine has been broken some time ago and never attended to. The hip socket is broken and the head of the femur is fractured. This bird has beautifully healthy bones. So this bird didn't fall and just fracture like old people do. This bird has been hurt. Since he's been here, Spirit is, is just progressing at a phenomenal rate. He can pull himself up, he loves the bar, so he pulls himself up and he can breathe better now because he can, the pressure is off his chest. We carry him round and he, his wings are going, his tail wiggles. Apparently, according to the vet, he has no pain from these injuries at all at this moment anyway. Probably did in the first place. I'm sure he had severe pain, but not anymore. And the left leg, which is the one with the, the intact hip, definitely seems to be becoming mobile. Although it would seem impossible when you could see the fractures, you can see the movement in this leg. And if you put your finger in the foot, you can feel the tightness as he does this. There is definitely something happening for spirit. We would like to do a lot more for spirit. We really want more work done. We need a lot of work done. We'd like Dr. McDonald to either fix the hip if it's at all possible. The muscle is good in there because every day we exercise both of these legs so that the muscles don't waste. And we've also heard of a man who makes um, wheelchairs, etc., for injured animals or animals that, that lose limbs. 
and we're contacting him to find out if there's anything he can come up with for Spirit. Spirit loves to fly the wings and wiggle the tail, so we feel that he could perambulate himself around if he had some physical support that was a mobile support. So if this is at all possible, we're going to need people who will help towards sponsoring Spirit. So if you can feel in your heart that you would like to donate anything towards Spirit, please do. Because Spirit needs it.